In this video, we'll look at why it is useful to recreate the Outlook mail profile. We'll also go through the risk factors involved. And at the end, I'll show you how you can create the Outlook mail profile. Let's look at the why first. Why is it useful to recreate the Outlook mail profile? Well, when you're troubleshooting client-side issues, such as getting a default signature to apply properly, or you're seeing regular prompts to restart Outlook, it can be useful to recreate the Outlook mail profile. This will help rule out any issues with corruption and old settings. Now, let's discuss the risk factors involved. It's generally safe to recreate the Outlook mail profile for users with Microsoft Exchange mailboxes, as the emails and folders are stored within the mailbox and not locally within Outlook. But I think it's worth considering that some Outlook settings such as additional mailboxes are stored within the profile and will need to be reconfigured afterwards. When the new profile is loaded, Outlook will re-download the user emails and this can take several minutes to complete. Now let me show you how you can recreate the Outlook mail profile. Let's open the control panel. I'll click mail. In this window, I'll click here. Now I'll click add to add a new profile. Let me enter a profile name. It doesn't matter what you call the profile, except that each profile needs to have a unique name. Here I'm going to use Outlook new as the profile name. I'll enter my email address. It's setting up my account. Here, it's done. My email account has been successfully configured and is ready to use. And this is the new profile I created. I'm going to select my new profile and set it as a default profile for Outlook to use. Let's quickly apply the changes. Now you need to launch your Outlook so that the new profile synchronizes with Exchange. This can take some time. Once it's done and everything works, it is recommended that you remove your original profile. If there are any unused profiles, it is a good idea to remove these too, as the profiles can get corrupted. For this, I'm going to open the profile window and select the original profile I want to delete and click here. 